doing a uh, few things recently, a uh, little bit of uh, clay shooting and also returning to the rhubarb sparkling wine. Uh, the riddling process where the bottles are twisted and upended is now complete and the bottles have been standing on their head for a good few weeks. I have now moved them to my fermentation chamber that's set at uh, 4 degrees C and uh, the next step is to create some freezing brine. For that I've taken ice cubes, crushed them, mixed in with salt and that freezing brine comes down to around minus 15 degrees C. Uh, if you're lucky you can get it to around minus 20 but minus 15 is good enough for what I want. Then the uh, champagne bottle with the uh, rhubarb sparkling wine in is placed with the uh, at least an inch of the top of the bottle into the freezing brine and left there for around 15 minutes and that's just enough to get that very uh, top or bottom, whichever way you look at it, bits of wine and sediment frozen. And then, time to disgorge. The idea of disgorgement is that that frozen slug of sediment is fired out as you open the bottle. Just a little bit of frozen sludge remaining there. Not sure whether or not I'm going to sweeten this sparkling wine. Uh, so what I'm going to do with the first bottle that I've disgorged is to taste it with varying amounts of sugar per litre. For extra brut it's uh, 0 to 6 grams, uh, brut it's uh, up to 12 grams, extra dry 12 to 17 grams, uh, sec is 17 to 32 grams, demi sec 32 to 50 grams and over 50 grams is do. Now um, irrespective of whether I pronounce that right or wrong, how I'm uh, going to emulate that in the, the small 30ml uh, taster sample that I'm going to pour, um, I've, I've, I've created a, um, a, a sugar syrup, uh, some stock uh, sugar solution, um, which works out at 75% weight per volume. Right, so 100 ml of boiling water and 150 grams of sugar makes a volume of just under 200 ml. So when I'm measuring it out for the dosage or dosage, it would be easier for my calculations if I can top it up with boiling water. 200 ml, so I know for every 2 ml there's one and a half grams of sugar. So this first bottle is the experimental one for a start. Let's see if there's any fizz in it. Well, I think we can see that has worked quite nicely. It is very fizzy. I think it's time for a taste. Mm. Mm. That's quite nice as it is. But let's have a check on sweetness and whether we think it will be improved. So I've got 30 ml of the champagne there. Sorry. <coughs> of the rhubarb sparkling wine and next let's get a little egg cup for the sugar syrup so this is a 75% weight per volume sucrose solution and first of all I'm going to try it as a um, brute which will have 0.3 ml of the sucrose in 30 ml. There we go. 
Stir that in and see what we think. It is obviously slightly sweeter than the version without. Right, should we go straight? I'm going to skip out brute, well I've just done brute, I'm going to skip out extra dry. Um, if you're wondering why I'm looking over here, I've got my crib notes on how much I need. I think I might jump to sec, which is one mil of this sucrose solution in 30 mil. Mixy-mixy. See what we think of that. Maybe again, if I compare it to the uh, the totally dry, the extra brute. Oh, I should have called in some friends for some more opinion. Right. So you got this jump straight to demi sec. Oh no, I'm going to get so sloshed. Right. So one mil and half a mil. So that's demi sec. I don't think I'll go straight to do with um, a huge amount of sweetness. Maybe the totally unsweetened version is preferential. And the advantage with that, particularly if you have a problem with sulfites in wines, is we don't need to stabilise it. Because obviously if you add sugar, you need to add the sulfite and the sorbate to make sure it doesn't ferment in the bottle and explode. Whereas all I'm doing, if it's extra brute, is not adding any sugar, I'll be topping up with just plain rhubarb wine and then recapping, excuse me, Cassie, and then storing. Now I'm just coming back and I'm going to try the 0.6 ml of sucrose, which corresponds to extra dry. So if I do that, I am going to have to stabilise it. What, I'm, uh, what I might still do, because I've not actually prepared myself with um, sulfite and sorbate solution ready to go in, I might just do this as the unsweetened extra brute, just for the speed of uh, finishing it off and putting the cap in. This is probably going to be the least sparkling of all the ones I do because I have left it a while without recapping it. Right, let's crack on. So, here I have, chilling away, the plain, non-sparkling rhubarb wine. So this is what I'm going to add to top it up before I cap it. Totally disorganised with this. I haven't got my bottle open a handy. Ah, come on, come on. It's before lunch time, just before lunch time. My stomach is totally empty, and those tastes of sparkling wine have gone straight to my head. Ah. <clears throat> Not functioning very well at all. So much so, I think. I've managed to drop a bit of cork into that. Nice work. Bloody hell. Has it gone? Go. Bye-bye. Uh, let's see how I can do this.
Obviously I wouldn't normally have the, uh, the what do you call it, the, the sieve, but I wanted to catch any, um, oops, shite. <coughs> right, okay, so that's done. Nice and professionally, no cockroaches here. Right. Ah, bollocks, have I put too much in as well? Shit, I'm not doing really well here, am I? Right. Have I poured too much out now? Fucking hell. Really, it just shows how alcohol can really impair your faculties. Right, let's get the bugger in. Right, here it goes. And on this goes. Um, and obviously, commercial producers have very fancy technology to um, do the wire in these cages. Here's my version. Underneath the uh, the neck of the bottle, under that rim, and now I can take out. Ah, oh, you fucker! Okay, maybe I did that too tightly. Next. So you know, don't worry if at home you can't do it as smoothly and professionally as a seasoned brewer like me. Don't let me intimidate you with my shocking display of wonderful skill. Right, now, take it out. There we go. And there it is. Flawless. And that can go back into storage for a month or so before we open it. <laughs>